Good morning. I'm Pastor Belinda at the Glory Barn in Branson, Missouri. My husband and I are senior pastors there. Um, the Lord had spoken to me quite some time ago to start doing a video and encourage those of you who have take time to watch um, and just to set him before your face to remind you that you serve a God who is high above all gods. There is none beside him. Jesus is Lord and he will make your life a better place if you let him on that seat. If you'll put him on that seat of your heart, he will bring peace into your life. In Philippians 4 and 8, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Pull those things out that God has done for you in the past and thank him for them. Hold them up before your face. In this time of so much negativity and depression and bad things happening, I want you to know that Jesus is still on the throne and he is still working miracles and he is still providing for his children. You just need to open up your heart. And if you haven't received the Lord, I ask you, just take a minute and ask him to come into your heart. Ask him to be Lord of your life. Ask him to bring to you the plan that he had for you when he sent you down here as a baby. When you came, before you came, the Lord had it written out what he wanted you to do. Now, whether or not you succeed in that is up to you. But I want to tell you, I want to encourage you, you can carry that out. You can be an overcomer in the Lord. He has plans for you that you could not imagine if you'll make him Lord of your life. I want you to remember things that God has done for you and give him thanks and think on those things. Think on good things. Don't listen to the news and get so depressed. I want you to know there may be COVID. There may be viruses. There may be death. But you know what? God is in charge and Jesus has the final say on all of this. He has the ability to raise people up. He has the ability to bring health and wholeness. But so many times we don't even let him in. We don't even consult him. We don't want him to make a decision in our life because we're scared of what he might want us to do. I tell you what, I want you to strive for Jesus. I want you to seek him and find him. I want you to hold him before you that he's your God and make this, make this decision. No matter what happens, Jesus, I'm your child. Jesus, I am there. Jesus, I'm not going to run off and leave you just because something doesn't go my way. He's not a genie in a bottle. You can't just rub him and get everything you want. <laughs> that would be kind of fun, but it's not going to happen. Jesus is in control, and he wants to bring your life back to wholeness. If your family has fallen apart, if your finances have gone to pot, Jesus can make you and restore you to a place of victory. Amen. All we got to do is ask him. We never ask. I knew a lady one time. She told me her husband was going to England on a trip. And she said, "I, Blenda, I sure hope that he invites me to go. And I almost fell over. Um, I said, you wanting your husband to invite you to go to England? My husband wouldn't even have, I wouldn't even wait for him to ask me. I'd be telling him, I'm going to England with you, baby. We're going to England together, you know. And the, so the situation, the relationship that they had was not a, was not a very close or very loving relationship. You need to have a close and loving relationship with your father, with your Lord. And you need to know what he speaks into your heart. And uh, you can be overcomers. Just open that door. Open the up to Jesus and ask him to come into your heart and change your life, change your depression. In the name of Jesus, there's power over depression. In the name of Jesus, there's freedom from family addictions, family passed down depression, family curses. Jesus is the answer. If you're dabbling in witchcraft, I want you to know right now, you're serving a counterfeit.
Your God has no power. My God, Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty, has all the power in the world. He is what yours was copied off of. I serve the original. And Jesus wants to set you free. He wants to bring you out of depression. He wants to deliver you from family curses in the name of Jesus. And I want to just pray with you right now. If your family is strong and in one spot and another and you have your home is a wreck. I want to pray over restoration over you. I want to pray, pray freedom from depression over you in the name of Jesus. I want to pray wellness over you. So, Father, God, right now I want to address this. I want to address depression. God, I speak to this demonic thing and I command it to leave in the name of Jesus. I want to speak restoration into families. Oh, uh, God, Lord, right now you know where the children are. You know what they have done, Father. God, I want you to bring them back to a place in you. Bring them back to a place of repentance where they will turn from things that have destroyed them and will once again reach for you, Jesus. God, I ask in the name of Jesus that you bring healing unto the bodies of those that are watching. Right now, if you have an ailment, I want you to just lay your hand on it. And in the name of Jesus, I speak healing over you. We release healing in the house in the name of Jesus. We release freedom from depression in the name of Jesus. We release restoration in your family in the name of Jesus. Jesus has all the power. Jesus is ready to help you. All you got to do is call on him. All you got to do is call on him. I want to encourage you. Life is not hopeless. God is still on the throne. I'm Belinda. Thanks for watching.